Okay, we're gonna try the viral cinnamon roll hack, but first we are gonna finish this Mexican street corn because it's so good. Mm -hmm. We had corn on sale and it was the best corn. So I was craving Mexican street corn. So I just used whatever ingredients we have on hand. We had Miracle Whip, so I used Miracle Whip, like a thin, thin coating instead of mayo or sour cream. And then tahini. And then um, I like feta instead of queso fresco. It's just the saltiness I really love and lime juice. And it's, it's magical. Mm -hmm. I'm getting corn juice all over the foam. I don't care. Okay, cinnamon roll hack time. Okay, everyone I've seen puts the cinnamon rolls directly in the pan, like with no parchment or anything, but they're not cleaning it up. <laughs> I am, so I'm gonna put parchment. I picked these cinnamon rolls because they look good. So you get five in a pack. I've seen other people use two packages, but I'm good with one pack. So I haven't seen any specific measurements about how much cream, so we'll just, <laughs> we'll just do a free pour. Did I likely put too much cream? Yes. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? I guess we'll find out. Then we just mixed up some butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. I saw someone say that they used a cup of brown sugar, a cup of butter, and a teaspoon or so of cinnamon. So that's roughly what I did. I poured that delicious melted butter, brown sugar, cinnamon mixture over the cinnamon buns, and I am just now realizing that proportion was for two packages of cinnamon rolls. So these, <laughs> these are gonna be some cinnamon rolls. Well, they're in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes, and honestly, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be amazing. You can't really screw them up. They're pre-made cinnamon rolls. We're gonna work at making this icing go a little farther. I saw someone extend their icing by adding a little more icing sugar, a little milk or cream, and some vanilla. So that's what we're doing. They also added butter, but I'm not a big fan of either butter or cream cheese in my cinnamon roll, cinnamon roll icing. I ended up uncovering the cinnamon rolls and cooking them a little bit longer, about 20 minutes longer. Look how big they are. Now we're gonna slather them with that icing. I always say icing. Like, I don't know if it's a Canadian thing because I know people say frosting too. I say both, I think. Maybe I don't always say icing then. <laughs> You know, I don't know why I never thought of extending the icing myself before. That's a genius idea, because they never give you enough icing in the package. Whoever came up with that, you're a genius. Or maybe everybody does it except me. <laughs> okay, they are looking so beautiful. Let's give them a try. They look so good. Ready? Hold the phone. Those are amazing. Like, for real. That's <laughs> it. Best cinnamon buns I've ever had, I think. Well, not the best. Where my dad worked, they used to have the best cinnamon buns. And I have good memories of those. But these are incredible. This is also a good fear food challenge for me because I don't know the calories in here. A million out of 10. Whoever invented this is should win a medal because it's that good. Chef's kiss.